Okay, in this video, we're gonna solve this problem right here. And so let's begin. So first, what I like to do is just do a simple plug-in. If I plug in a zero here, the square root of 16 is four, four minus four is zero, and that's a big red flag that you have to approach this problem differently. And so what we're gonna do is actually multiply by the conjugate. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna multiply, I'll do the square root of x plus 16. Instead of a minus four, I'm gonna put a plus four. And if I do it on the numerator, I have to also put it onto the denominator in order for it to balance out. So we're not making any actual changes because this piece divided by this piece is just one. All right, now we're gonna actually multiply it out. So we have the limit as x approaches zero, parentheses, we have our x, parentheses, we have the square root of x plus 16, outside there's a plus four, close parentheses, divided by, now the square root of x plus 16 times the square root of x plus 16, it cancels the square root out and you get x plus 16. The square root of x plus 16 times four, you would get that, so you would have four, the square root of x plus 16, and then you do minus four times the same piece, so it's gonna cancel out, but let's write it out. Negative four times the square root of x plus 16, and then negative four times four is negative 16. Close our parentheses. Now what's gonna happen is this piece is gonna get canceled with this piece, the 16 is gonna get canceled with the negative 16, so we have much less stuff to work with. So let's write this out. We have the limit as x approaches zero, parentheses, x times, parentheses, the square root of x plus 16. Outside there's a plus four, close parentheses, divided by x, close parentheses. Now the x's can cancel, and now all we need to do is replace x with zero. So we're gonna get the square root of zero plus 16. Outside there's a plus four, and the square root of 16 is equal to four, and four plus four is equal to eight. And that's right here is our final answer. And that's all we need to do for this problem.